Okay, kids, it's me. And if you've read Facebook today, um, which I'm trying to learn Instagram, by the way, my kids continue to tell me that Facebook's for moms. And so I'm learning Instagram, but um, you will know that today it's either them or me. And it is not lost on me that this is so much wonderful extra time with my children that um, I really do enjoy. I really do enjoy this extra time with my children. However, eight weeks, I can't go to the bathroom without someone knocking on the door. I seep into a hot bath and there's mom or I, I walk to the basement to go to the laundry, to switch the laundry, and I turn around and I trip on my oldest, my oldest, my 16-year-old son. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I just want to be with you. I love him. And then he says, do you want a Jakey hug? Like, he's such a teddy bear. He's a six-foot monster. But, oh, my gosh, this is like when they were in preschool, and I just couldn't wait for them <laughs> to go to Mother's Day out. They're everywhere. And this morning, I decided, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my AirPods in. And if I put my AirPods in, they'll think that I'm on an important call. Do you know what AirPods mean? They're like a magnet. They're a magnet for kids to come up and say, Mom, hey, hey, Mom, guess what? Look at the new skin I got on Fortnite. Or, hey, Mom, can you help me with this Photoshop thing that I'm doing for fun? Or, hey, Mom, I mean, trust me, Kathy Deacons, I do love my children and I love that they are home. But if I still lived next door to you, I would say to Kathy's. <laughs> Kathy loves you. Kathy wants you. Why don't you go say hi to Kathy? Why don't you go help Rich in the yard? I would say all these wonderful things to them because you were a saint. But this is how my day is going. And I have been really, really good in this quarantine. But I am grumpy. I am grumpy today because I have had no time to myself. And look, even my trusty poodle. Look, my poodle's riding shotgun. Say hi, Ollie. He's not been brushed because we had to wash him because guess what? When I decided to groom him on my own, I completely burned him. Like burned, terrible. I've been rubbing him down with all sorts of essential oils and um, CBD lotion has actually helped the most because he's got welts because I got too close to his skin. I'm not a groomer, but the kid was, he was covered in knots and he was panting and he was hot and he was throwing up. I mean, he really was uncomfortable. So I'm not sure if he's less uncomfortable now or more uncomfortable. But so there we go with the dogs and the kids. The husband, guess what? I love him too. But he just told me they have decided at work that they may not go back to work until August. August. And then I start hearing about colleges that are closing down that have already announced for the fall. Are my kids are my kids going to be home next semester too? Like I think that this is a great time to invest in a she shed. I think it's time. I think we're going to either get an apartment or some place for mama to go to maintain our sanity. I know I'm not alone because I have seen lots of your comments on Facebook and it's not saying I don't love my children and I don't love my family, but mama needs some time because guess what? When I say, why haven't you asked your dad that question? Because dad's the math whiz, not me. Oh, he's working. I can't interrupt him. Meanwhile, I'm working. I, I work too. I'm just working from my computer in the living room. Nobody wants to mess with dad. <sighs> Gosh, this feels good. Okay. So what I would get, what I thought I'd get on to do is share with you my new <laughs> my new relief and yes of course it's in the CBD realm these things are amazing these are essential oils that are infused in CBD and I will tell you a lot of people love this one called um, calm calm because it has lavender in it and everybody knows lavender makes you go to sleep but um, 
oops, dropped that one. But I think what I've decided is my favorite calm definitely helps when you go to sleep at night. You can buy these separately too. You don't have to buy them as a kit. I just love the kit because it was pretty and lots of colors. This one is called Shine and it's a roller ball. Oops, going through a yellow light. It's a roller ball. And what you wanna do, and I wish I had a list of all the essential oils that are mixed in here, but it's a major blend and it makes you feel good. Oh my gosh, if you smell it, it smells like orange. And if you've been watching my videos and learning something from my time that I talked to myself, the terpenes are what make them smell so good. And orange, as we all know, is an upper. This has orange in it and it makes you feel really good. And those terpenes that are plant-based are being rubbed on my body right now. And they're gonna make me feel really good. So the way you use these is you wanna get it on your, uh, carotid right here behind your neck you want to get it on your temples this is where it's the most quickly absorbed and it's so easy it feels so good and oh my gosh the car smells like orange and then you can go one step further and you can put it on your wrists and then rub them together like that oh my gosh y'all I already feel better that's amazing so this is called shine that's the one I just told you about then I told you about lavender calm honestly I rub this on my kids at night. I don't know about y'all, we have no structure. And that is totally my fault. I stay up with my kids till two o'clock in the morning. It's like summertime and like there's no responsibility. And I stay up with them till two, watch movies, hang out, then we sleep in till about eight or nine. Um, this morning I found out that, that school is out next week. I, I, I didn't know that school was out next week. That's a new one for me. And um, my oldest, you know, the one that's behind me all the time, guess what? He's got 18 missing assignments. 18! What kind of mom am I? How did I not know he had 18 missing assignments? 18 missing assignments. I need the calm. I need the calm. So this one is called Crown. This one also smells really good. It's a little bit more calming. I wish I could tell you what was in it. I need all of these. I'm lathering them all on me. I'm gonna be like a walking machine. This one is um, an uplifter and it. I think it also helps with headaches when you take crown. The next one, oh, this is really good and this is what my everybody in my family needs. We have focus issues. This one is called Focus. Sorry, my nails aren't good. This has a more um, earthy smell. And um, I give this to my set, my husband. He's working in our den. We have a mini trading floor in our den. You know, the den that my kids don't go in because daddy's working. And I'll give this to him to rub on his temples because he can't deal with the noise. While nobody interrupts him, he can't deal with the noise. Next one, ice. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost my marbles. This is ice and this smells amazing. This is also one that I know a lot of people use for headaches. It has that calm, menthol, cooling smell. Listen y'all, if you have wives out there or even husbands, someone that needs um, to feel good and to come off this crazy, crazy feeling that I know I'm not alone, I would highly recommend if you don't get these cute roll-ons, great gift get them CBD because that CBD oil, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm taking dabs of it all day long to give me calm, to give me peace because I feel myself erupting. I know it's coming and I'm trying to breathe 10 seconds before I just lose it on my sweet, wonderful children. But my touch tank is full. My touch tank is full. Do you remember saying that when your babies were climbing on you and spitting up on you and you loved them so much, but please stranger, hold my baby because I just can't touch someone anymore. I have a 16 year old. I have a, uh, how old? Oh, Luke, he's gonna be 14 on Monday. And guess what that means? Let's get some more CBD going. He can get his driver's license in the state of Kansas. And he's 14, I, he's 13 now. And on Monday, he can get his permit. That's another thing I need this for. And then I have a 10 year old who, quite honestly, he's perfect. <laughs> he does everything he's told to do. He does all of his work. He doesn't have to be told what to do. He's like bringing up the caboose in perfection. So. I know I'm rambling. I feel like I needed to vent. I need to share with you my mothers and my friends and, and my the fathers 
out there. I know that y'all are dealing with this too because we were all together and I was thinking, I was so arrogant. I thought, Wait, we're doing this. I'm a hermit. I love this. But you know what? Eight weeks? I think this is my tempting point. Eight weeks. Um, it's time. It's time for a change. And um, I want to protect everybody in this world. I don't want anyone to get sick. I make no political stands. I love being close with my family. But um, yeah, it's time. So sorry to make you all crazy if you weren't already. Say goodbye to Ollie. Hey, baby. Yeah, say bye-bye. And Ollie and I are out, and we're going to continue. Look at his side view. Whenever he's driving, people think he's a person in the car. It's absolutely hilarious, the looks that I get. Ollie and I are out. Y'all have a great day.